some helpful hints if you're planning on having rotator cuff surgery. I had an 85 to 90% tear because I fell on the dance floor at my holiday party back on December 5th. And I was able to go for a few months without getting the surgery so that I could plan for it and save some money in my HSA and uh, plan with work and everything. So I had an 85 to 90% tear in my left shoulder, rotator cuff, and um, the surgery was yesterday. I was opting out of the nerve block because my sister had it done too, and you know I was thinking that the less Uh, repercussions from having another thing going on besides the anesthesia would um, just add to it but after speaking with my doctor my orthopedic surgeon he talked me into it because I didn't know this but when you don't have the nerve block they have to give you a lot more anesthesia which then could cause more um, nausea, vomiting, and uh, recovery. So I did up for the nerve block. So right now I'm in no pain, but it's only hasn't been 24 hours yet. After the nerve block, when you come out of it, your fingers are all tingly and numb, so you can't feel them. But I'm also feeling no pain. I haven't started taking the hydrocordone, hydrocordone or the what's also called um, Norco. They prescribed seven days of Norco, 7.5 milligrams with some acetaminophen in it. So the week before your surgery, quit um, all your herbal supplements, no smoking pot, no ibuprofen, no aspirin, nothing that is a blood thinner. So you stop that the week before. And then when you get into the surgical center, uh, if you let them know about any anxiety issues, which I have, my pug died a year ago coming out of anesthesia. She had a blood clot to the lungs or to the brain, so I was having some major PTSD about that. So I talked to the anesthesiologist that came right before the surgery and ex expressed my concerns. And he said that uh, he's not a vet, however, anesthesia does not cause blood clots. So she may have had some underlying issues. So that relieved me a little bit, but I did ask for a sedative and they gave me a sedative before going into the surgery. Then my orthopedic came in and talked to me about what they were gonna do, um, fix my bicep and the rotator cuff, I don't know the real name of the rotator cuff surgery. Uh, so then um, they put the IV in for the sedative and then next thing I knew I was waking up out of surgery. Uh, with the sling on me. So I already have my sling on. And then it comes with a little ball that you have to start doing exercises uh, after the nerve block wears off. But you can't sleep on that side. It doesn't start healing till at least eight weeks. I won't be able to golf or play volleyball for nine months to a year. So um, make sure you do your physical therapy as instructed. I highly recommend getting the nerve block. I recommend getting a recliner instead of laying in your bed because if you roll over, it could injure. And the first eight weeks are very crucial that you could re-tear the cuff. Um, you're gonna have to get some bandages and stuff to take shower and covering it with saran wrap. You can't get it wet, you can't submerge. So I will do an update uh, after the nerve block wears off, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.